I've wronged you all just because I wanted everyone to live. Now I have to... No, simmer. Don't do this. Sorry, Grill. I don't know what else I can do. I just want to be with everyone. I want to go back. Alright, welcome back to the only cyber that did not disappoint in the month of December. And I'm obviously talking about Nickel, our new cyber waifu to the harem, to join Necro Waifu and Dragon Waifu. More importantly, I did mention that I would have a new build here for us, at least try. So meanwhile, I'm doing the um, very extra toxic boy build, which is a virus dagger, the poison spray, and I believe I got like some other stuff here I'll show up pretty soon, but we'll get back to that soon. We have a new build though. You are now my superiors. You have control over me. I will obey. Do you have any orders for me? We want information on the Stargate project. Including the destination, methods of communication, and safety protocols. We want to know everything. Understood. Carrying. Now, Simmer looks a little bit down right there. One of the things that we found out last time around is that she is expending too much energy and uh, it's not looking too good, that's all I can say. What's wrong, Simmer? We're about to learn the truth. It's nothing. You don't look well. You don't know half of it. All files pertaining to the Stargate project have an extra layer of encryption. A supercomputer, a super supercomputer, will be required to access the information. Please wait 15 minutes while I go decrypt these. I will inform you upon completion. Encrypted, huh? Well, I suppose it shouldn't be that easy to... These computers contain all sorts of information that Suck didn't want everyday citizens to know about. Feel free to per peruse through them while you wait. Oh, alright. So, we get to wait, but we also get to learn a little bit, huh? But, there's still more to talk with Nickel here. Her name was Nickel, right? I'm not making this up. This is not something that happened in some sort of feverish dream mind. It was Nickel, right? Communication with the President Palace failed, unable to receive any data. <laughs> Alright. You know what? I somehow do not feel bad about on occasion being kind of lewd with this game. I mean, look at this. Look at it. <laughs> you won't be able to access that. Tens of thousands of lives were sacrificed to erect that barrier around the city. Yeah, something's erect. That should be the cuboid you were talking about. Explanation required. On that day, the first outburst of CO4 was confirmed to be in the capital. Since you rode out to roll to sleep at home, the military recruited by and recruited any and all volunteers to help them stop the spread of CO4. I joined too, but we soon discovered the mages infected the CO4 could not be dealt with easily. It's surprising that you volunteered, considering how anti-government you were. In the end, the military decided to seal off the whole city among, along with the president and lieutenants. The mages in the military extracted the souls of bystanders to create a massive barrier that could hold back any physical or magical attack. From the available data, it seems that the barrier was clearly useless. Y you're right. The barrier successfully contained the capital, but it had already spread to too many areas. Uh, in the end, everyone still died. Do you know why you weren't booted up that day? No. There should have been advance notice for any high-maintenance-related shutdowns. But on that day, it happened suddenly. I also discovered that some of my drives have been damaged. My memory is incomplete. The archives in my files have all been magically encrypted by the Supreme Lieutenants. I cannot be hacked unless the attacker had the same skill in electrical engineering magic. Hmm. How about that? The government should have records in all the Platinum Tier EMs. There have only been two Platinum Tier Electrical Engineering Mages, both worked at the highest level of the government, with one being a Supreme Lieutenant. Government officials removing government data and shutting down government computers. Sounds like a coup to me. The Supreme United Command is united in their mission, their determination and achievements, to serve is to pledge allegiance to humanity. Treason is unthinkable. Sure. And that's it. 
All right. Let's see what we can learn over here going through these fires. Remember the nutrition cakes you were selling, Nickel? I, I was right at a Snickle. What were they actually made of? Ooh. The most recent nutrition cake recipe is top secret. I do not have the authorization level to access it. The recipe is a secret, but the cakes taste terrible. That can only mean one thing. It's people. They use people to make them. <laughs> hmm. Soil and greens? That is a completely absurd accusation. I am baffled by your negativity towards the government. We're strict, but we're not evil. Even during periods of overpopulation, raising and harvesting humans as livestock is incredibly inefficient. Use of human cadavers, however, decreased after protein diseases started appearing in human brains. I knew it. I guess we continue onwards, meanwhile they decrypt that. Let's see if it could... No. Oh. Well, I guess we got away. Decryption completed. The password of the files was 1234QWER. We can now access the Stargate project. Oh, imagine that. If there really is a new world on the other end, if there are people waiting for us, I need to know if I've been wrong all this time. Simmer? If your theory is correct, I'm willing to follow you. Reading contents. Completed. There are no contents. What do you mean? There is no information on the Stargate or any extraterrestrial colonization. So there really wasn't anything. Reconfirming, the files you requested are not there from the start. The entire folder was empty. So what does this mean? Were they lying about colonization? Was the entire Stargate project a deception? That can neither be confirmed nor denied. I've never been a part of the Stargate project. At the time, the, uh, or the suck needed to reassure the populace using any means necessary. However, we expended massive amounts of resources and manpower to construct the Stargate. In order to complete the project, the Supreme President nearly bankrupt the suck. This couldn't have just been a propaganda project. So we're back to where we started. We can't confirm anything. I don't believe it. How could there be no data at all? Simmer, I know you haven't given up. Let's find another supercomputer to help. No, I'm running out of time. What? I've already made up my mind. This isn't going to change anything. The Stargates are only hope. I want to continue staying with you all, but uh, I'm running out of time. Simmer! Can't do this anymore, Grill. I have to activate the other Stargate. Oh, that doesn't make any sense. You're already running out of magic. If you use even more, you'll destroy yourself. In your current state, you can't even get past the barrier around the capital. Let alone activate the Stargate, too. Out of everyone here, only I can break the barrier with my necromancy. I need to tear it down before I disappear. Otherwise, you'll all be stuck here forever. You can't go, Simmer. Are you doing this to look responsible? What's been troubling you? Come here and let's talk about it. I told you I'm running out of time, but... I can help you escape before Putrid returns. I'm done arguing with you. Stop getting attached to this place when it's destined to be destroyed. I've already sacrificed too much. I've wronged you all just because I wanted everyone to live. Now I have to... No, oh, Simmer. Don't do this. Sorry, Grill. I don't know what else I can do. I just want to be with everyone. I want to go back. That's impossible now. Apprentice, I've taught you everything I know. After I'm gone, Grill's going to need your help. I truly thank you for allowing me to summon you into this difficult world. Please carry on my knowledge and experience. Take care of Grill. She's kind of an idiot. Wait, Simmer! I don't get what you're trying to say. Don't go! My new superiors have now separated after an explosive argument. As their employee, you're probably confused about what to do, too. According to Simmer's words, she's on her way to destroy the barrier around the capital. The quickest way to access the capital is through Snow Peak, so there's a high probability of finding Simmer there. My main mission is to help extend human civilization. Social stability is my secondary mission. In light of that, I will open up an elevator to Snowpeak to help you find Simmer. Rapid changes in dealership and decision making are not conducted with social stability. Please bring our leader back. Snowpeak. That is what, um, Rob talked about.
and that second diary entry of his, so yep. We are coming here, so we should keep our eyes open to see if we can find another entry by Rob here. Okay. That was a lengthy introduction with a lot learned. Now let me show you what I've done here. We got some ice petals. Let me show you what I've done with this build here. It's not as good, obviously, as um, that super thing that we had going on. Because, I mean, that fire thing was just... You know what? I'm a ding-dong, too. Look at this. We're in a snow area, and this is the time that I decided to get off of the snow. Out of the, um, the fire build. <laughs> when did I use the fire build? Oh, when we were in water. But we do a lot of damage of poison over time. So even just by damaging and just booking, you see how they're losing a lot of HP there? Oh, my God. What the hell is that? Articuno? <laughs> that was like Articuno right there, dog. Alright, oh, he flew off. That's totally Articuno. So yeah, we've poisoned, and as you can see, I can just move around and let him take damage over time. He takes 170 DPS over time, so... The poison that we have with the dagger, virus, and the poison spray does fairly good damage over time, so... It's kind of like one of those builds where you could attack a bit, and if you're in trouble, just kind of book it. And the upside, too, of the dagger being so quick is that... We get a lot more heals back, because every 10 attacks, we're supposed to heal a little bit of HP, right? Alright, we have a recipe over here for either primary or secondary weapon for sure. Let's see if we can make this happen. One, two, three, okay. Sweaty sports drink. Why? You are a boy? That's asleep? Oh, oh! And you break, okay. So we gotta be quick about this, huh? Now we got... Seems to be the obvious path to the left. Or to the right. But maybe going through here, we might find a secret recipe or two. Yes, we have. Missing page, Elemental Sunday. Oh, it's ice cream. Okay. Okay. We got this and big cookbook. The snow chapter. Advanced recipes, dying of starvation in the snowy tundra is near impossible for the well-trained chef. Okay, so this is our first hub in the snow area. So this is a new meal right here. It seems fairly intriguing. It's a cursed popsicle. Increase all damage inflicted by 50%. Increase all damage taken by 6%. So, you know, like a little bit of a berserker type of build. You do more damage, but you also take more in return as well. But 6% really isn't that much in comparison to the extra 50 you're doing, so not a bad one to probably think about. Grill, we finally found you. Huh? Is that... Emma? But... How? We can talk about that later. Right now, we need your help. Look at this. These are... Simmer soul shards. Do you know where she went? I've been looking all over for her. She's in a dangerous state. These fragments are pieces of her soul falling apart. She's... Lost too much. Leaving behind just her will. She won't be Simmer anymore. She was acting strange right now, so I thought I should find you. The others are still following her. What should we do? Stop her from using any more magic. I... I'll find a way. I'll find a way. Have you guys found any other soul shards? I don't know. Zombie, I need your help. Simmer's starting to collapse. She must be dropping shards all over the place. This is all my fault. I stubbornly held on to my own beliefs for too long. I've made too many mistakes. I must go and prepare the magic necessary to repair, repair her soul. I need you to please help me gather these shards. I'll bring her back. No matter what it takes. Okay. So keep an eye out for shards, huh? Alright, so I really quickly removed the meal that gives me the shield. And I'm gonna go without the extra heart as well. I gave myself the second attack 50% extra damage. And uh, we'll see how this plays out for us. Might be getting a bit too overzealous thinking I don't need the extra heart, but we'll see. No harm in trying. If we die, well, we're just spawning. We're fine. Oh my goodness, God. You're like, uh... Similar to those tree dudes that we saw with Putrid, except you're, uh, made of snow. Nice. I guess you're technically uh, a pine one. I see tree juice. Alright. We didn't do too bad on that one right there. I'm really curious as to what our fire build could do in this area, though. Like, I could just imagine just melting through the entire areas really quickly here. But, I mean, the dagger build isn't really too bad. It complements my spammy dash playstyle, anyway. Just hug them, dash around. It's like I'm playing Dark Souls. Hug the boss's ass, roll around them, and spam attacks. You'll get it eventually. Alright. Here we go. 
there. Mm, okay. So three. Jump on that. Okay. Anything over there you think is possible? But I guess we don't really have to find out. This seems like the secret path, I would say, right? Icebird snow cone. And we got this. I mean, I'll be honest with you. My platforming is a lot better than it is than um, dealing with uh, lasers, I would say. This is another shard here. You know those laser guns attached to the execu executor drones? Or executor drones? Every day they kill thousands of people who just want to survive. I caused the death of so many just because I want to survive. If my existence only results in more death, what good is there in being alive? And done. Uncle Z's instant beef noodle soup. Give it a try. I just added hot water. Cooking's actually pretty easy. It's nice. Who is this fellow that we're getting your memories of, huh? It's right about- Stop it! You jerk. Blood red battery soup. One thing for sure I should note. Not sure how well it should come through the audio here with the mixing and post-editing, but the music for this area, the soundtrack, really, really good. Really chill. Very comfy. Considering we're in uh, the holiday seasons here. Snowy area. Fairly good, I would say. Now, my friend, I don't have too much range on me, so you definitely got to meet me halfway here. Let's see where we're going. Woohoo! Another shard. Hey, have you seen Callus, man? It's made by the same guy that did Captain DUI. I feel better about my life, so I don't want to read any more dark comics. Ha <laughs> ha I am callous, man. My powers help me vanquish empathy. Modern society is so full of tragedy and atrocities, rapid crime, economic crisis, and environmental degradation. When I learn about the suffering of others, I feel terrible, but I can't do anything to change this society. This helplessness is making me anxious, depressed, and cynical. I need to use my powers to make this world a better place. Be gone, empathy! I've... I've lost my empathy. Haha, <laughs> why don't you find a job, beggar? Haha, <laughs> the turtle got straw stuck in his nose again. When we stop feeling for others, tragedy miraculously becomes comedy. He's the antagonist, right? I've seen Captain DUI, but this guy is something else. That's why I got cancelled. <laughs> why, why are you showing me this? I think the authors are like you. He made this because he experienced the same kind of suffering as you. The world's a big place, and we're all very small. Things don't change overnight. There's a lot of tragedies we can do nothing about. But as long as we have empathy, we're bound to continue to feel their pain. But the same happens for happiness. When I see my friends being happy, I can also feel their happiness. So, I'm going to spread happiness to those around me. That's my tiny rebellion against this cruel world. It's really pretty good. Oh. Warms the heart. Okay. Well, unfortunately, we have warm heart. But we also have a lot of time recorded here, so it's time for us to wrap up for this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. We got a lot of information figured out, but at the same time, um, Simmer might be going away. Which is no good. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Stick out for the next one. I will catch you next time.